okay guys so i'm back and i'm doing a video because i saw the funniest thing on instagram today and we've got to talk about it we've got to talk about it it's very important it made me laugh like literally i was howling this morning so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna insert the video into this video so you can see exactly what i saw and we can discuss this because this is funny. Calling this meeting of the bureau to order, ladies, about 17 minutes ago, 3.55 p.m., we heard a female voice in the back of one of his stories and someone shouting, Stephanie, let's go, let's go. We cross-referenced the name Stephanie on everyone that he's following and we found four results. We watched all of their stories, but none of them seemed to be in state. Damn it. Did you try the nickname Steph? Yes, we found two results for the nickname Steph. One of them is gay. And the other one? Seems like she's straight, Chief. She broke up with her boyfriend Marco about 14 weeks ago, and then two weeks ago tweeted, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. She was also at the party. That's our girl. Calling intel, photo, video, recon, surveillance units. Get them on the ground. We need to see the story immediately. Yeah, Chief, this is recon here. You're not gonna like this. In her story, it's clean. She's too smart. But about one week ago in her pinned tweet, we do see a shoe in the foreground with a scuff on it. It matches the one that we saw on his profile. Damn it! I gotta build the roster Right, so basically this video As you can see, it's about a girl The girl gets a shout That something is going on Yeah With her guy that she's seeing Or she's involved with It doesn't have to be a man, you know, just letting you know It doesn't have to be a man So she's involved with a guy Some way, somehow And she's heard somebody's name being called In the background The person said Stephanie yeah so what's happened she's called up the gang and she said yo yo, yo agent are you ready? ready the agent said we're ready she said let's, let's go. go you see when that bird call comes in it's operation catch him now you know like that like it's operation catch him now because that's the only thing that's going to happen you're going to catch him now, now yeah guys don't understand the lengths that girls will go to you guys have to understand the lengths that girls will go to if a woman has an idea in her mind in her chest in her chest that any funny business any funny business everybody did who said that one whoever said that one they knew about it any funny business everybody what everybody must die on the line <laughs> they must die on the line okay so the reason why sorry my eyes actually itching me oh my god my eye is itching me you know maybe i should take that out because i actually itch inside my eyeball and it kind of scares some people but um so the reason why this video was so funny to me is because it's reality like it's so it's so real that everybody i sent it to said nah that's me because it's actually reality, let's be honest. Like, we are going to find out who this person is. Like, we are going to find out how you know this person. We are going to find out where this person's from. We are going to find out about their past relationships, their financial situation, the place that they work, whether they have children, how long this has been going on. We're probably going to find it all out, do you understand? And this video that I watched today gave me jokes because it actually made me remember some scenarios and some things that I've gone through, yeah? And this is just to show you the lengths that women will go to. So, um, there was one time when my brethren was going out with a guy, yeah? And the guy was moving a bit dodgy. So, you know the ones where you're thinking, like, why is he moving dodgy? Why is he moving like that? So, she kept saying it, kept saying it. I said, don't worry, because things will come to light. Do you understand? Don't worry. Wait on it. Just wait on it. Do you know, like that. Just wait on it. So, I said to her, let it land, yeah? Let it land. It, it's landing. Let it land. Anyway, one day now, the boy's moving dodge, one night moving mad. The next morning, my, go my guy's phoned her and he's like, oh yeah, I'm vexed because my car's been clamped. My car got towed away, da 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 da. So my girl's like, oh, this boy's moving mad, but he said that his car got towed away, da da. I'm like, but hold on a minute. I swear where my man lives, there's not even no restrictions like that. So what does he mean his car got, got towed? You know, from the time when I said that thing now, it's, it's operation, what? Catch him now. Do you understand? So, she's like, it's true. Well, he never stayed at his house. He never stayed at his house. Because one plus one equals what? It equals two. Beyonce told us that one plus one, it equals two. He got clamped. 
There's no, he's car got towed. There's no restrictions outside. You never stayed at home. It's as simple as that. You never stayed at home. Okay, cool. So we've, we've clocked now. Okay, we've got some investigations to do. Do you understand? Because I was the bridging that she's called with the bird call. So you know now I'm on job. Do you understand? Assignment taken, accepted. Do you understand? One job, catch him now. So the friends are like to me, so where was he? We're going to call the pound. The pound, yeah? In fact, what's his registration? So we've gone on a few videos, you know, histories and them things there, seen a little video with the registration from the car. So we're like, okay, I see you, Bridget. So we've gone online. There's a way that you type in the, the, the registration number and it will tell you how much is due, where they've taken the car from, what date, etc. We've put it in to the borough that he was in or that we expected that he was in, yeah? Why has the thing come up with the whole address, not address, whole address, but the, the road name of where the car had been taken from? Okay, but the address, the road that it's been taken from is in an area that's known to us because we had thoughts of a, of a, of a possible female friend, mate, that might be living in that area. Do you understand? So it's on top now. Because what you've done is you've now given us the information to know that this is where you laid your head last night. Cool. Say nothing. You're in trouble. When a woman wants to find out something, she's going to find it out. And the depths that she goes to, it's long. Because I remember being young. We were taught this from young, you know. Us girls were taught this type of stuff from young because I remember being like 15 and having my little boyfriend at the time and suspecting that he's got some little next girlfriend, yeah? Okay, cool. I was taught to call the, the boy's phone. When it goes to voicemail, you press hash. It asks you to enter in the password for the post box, for the mailbox. And usually them times it was either 0000 or 1111 or 1234. It was only those because nobody really changed it. Or if they did, they just done it as some edit thing. Okay, I was in the voicemail and it was me that come to hear one girl talking about... Time on my hands since you've been away, boy. The girl fully sang the whole Mary J. Blige. I'm going down on the whole voicemail. So you're out here in the streets with girls singing, I'm going down. You are both going down. This is always going on. You all get down. I'm going down. You are sinking. You don't do that Titanic. Down. You don't even know down. Depths of the ocean. You don't even know down. Ocean 11. I'm going to give you Ocean 15. You don't even know depth. You don't know scuba diver. You are, you are going to dive. <laughs> the girl was singing, I'm going down. We're like 14. What do you know about time on my hands since you've been away? Eh? Thinking of what? Away where? You saw him on the way to school the next day. You're talking about since you've been away. We weren't going anywhere. We were 14. Listen, anyway. The, the, the moral of the story is we were taught this stuff from early. Don't try and fool us. Don't try and fool us because it's not going to happen. <laughs> this is what we do. It's just natural. I remember one time I had a friend at my house. The girl phoned him and was like, you're at that girl's house. You're at LA's house because LA just posted a can of ting. I, there was a can of ting on the table side and I took a picture of the ting. You know that effect when you put the background as a blur? The background was even a blur. I was even trying to do up Photoshop. Okay, the girl called and said, in the background, in the blur, I can see your two phones and your, your car keys. I know you're there. I said, you know what? The girl's tapped. But then I was like, but she's, she's on my level. So that means I'm tapped too. But we're going to move swiftly because that's not the topic of discussion. Do you understand? But the point of the matter is, we're all tapped. So please, whatever you're doing, do it carefully. Don't leave no trails because we will call the gang. And the gang will roll out and we will all come out, guns blazing, on Operation Catch Him Now, okay? That's all I'm going to tell you because I can't even be giving away too much. I've even given away too much. But it's okay because men are still silly. They'll still go and do the same nonsense because they don't take in information. When you talk, they don't listen. So it's all right. We can slip sometimes. They don't even know. They don't even know what's going on. Do you understand? But, um yeah and another thing as well guys please don't let this part woof don't let it woof over your head don't let it go over your head some of your mates okay some of your friends are the informers okay so sometimes you think oh how is she finding this out like she's mad she's mad she's tough she's tough Bro, sometimes it's your mate that has just come and voluntarily given us the information you know we're just chilling in our yard minding our business 
We're minding our whole business. The people will come and be like, LA. And do you know how they do it? They're so dumb. They don't even come and be like, yo, all right, this is what your man was doing. They'll come with some long talk. Then they'll be like, true man don't even snitch like that. True man don't even want to tell you about man's things. But you see when man's there, yeah? And man goes home with the girl like, I'm not even trying to get involved. So I'm not even saying nothing. You get me? When they was kissing in the car and that, I'm moving like man can't see. You understand? When he said he was leaving in the morning and that from her house, like man's just saying, don't tell me because man don't even want to be involved like that do you understand that's what they're doing dry snitching they know what they're doing your brethren know what they're doing so let me tell you something from now if you don't know yourself you will get caught by the fbi all right just a little word of advice hope you enjoyed my video not gonna keep you too much longer like share subscribe you know what it is okay gang gang <laughs>